What is the uh, cutting edge research going on civil engineering to make the world, you know, to do what Trudeau is saying, green infrastructure? What does that involve? What is the contribution of civil engineers to the green infrastructure? Well, there's a variety of different projects going on at U of T, of course, and I'm involved in a few of those. I think one of the things that's most exciting with respect to cutting edge re research and infrastructure is the new possibilities that the world of sensing and data processing create. That uh, I'm getting a bit tired of the expression, but we have the idea of a smart infrastructure system, the idea that a system can be more intelligent and more provide more feedback than we've ever been uh, able to do in the past. And so with that, we should be able to make better decisions, we better uh, be better informed about what we're doing. So we're specifically looking at uh, water supply systems and whether or not we can use the events and the disturbances in those systems to actually f provide or feed in information about system performance and response. So uh, we're working with projects that uh, t touch on things in both in Hong Kong and here in Canada with a strategic grant that relates specifically to this issue of um, how to send systems, how to use that systems to be able to detect potential failures or malfunctioning of the system. And uh, that possibility just didn't exist in the past when um, computer power and sensing technology wasn't as good as it is now. In film, you see a lot of depictions of different cities, some in the future, some in the past. But in what ways do, in what way does film um, influence civil engineering, especially as an like in architectural or in form of new concepts to drive the future of um, civil engineering? Well, I think civil engineering involves humans, and so. Uh, humans always are influenced by issues of media and issues of um, what uh, sort of uh, symbols or what uh, motivates people to look at things and to consider things. It's, um, I, I think that image of what we can do, the, the thing that worries me about the media approach and what worries me about um, you know, a film or a movie is that these things always compress time. They make things look like they happen quickly and problems can be solved quickly. Or the reality is, is that most challenges are long-term, most challenges are significant. They take long-term commitment to be able to make progress and a quick answer solved in a, in a short episode or in a feature-length film episode is just not the way we solve infrastructure problems. I think civil engineering is an exciting area. It's going through a great deal of change at the moment. The possibilities of what we can do increase. But I think one of the things that makes it most interesting to me is the fact that civil engineering takes both human intentions and the constraints of the real world seriously. In other words, you have to listen to the world and at the same time uh, be able to negotiate with that those set of constraints in order to achieve human goals. And to me, that is uh, a remarkable human and a remarkably exciting thing to do.